Welcome back people. This is how you can create a Mac OS Catalina bootable USB drive. I'm going to do a step by step right now. So pay close attention. What you'll need is a USB drive that is at least 16 gigabytes in size. I have a 32 gigabyte. Mac OS Catalina is at least eight gigabyte in size. So you need a pretty big thumb drive. I'm going to do it for my MacBook 13 inch 2019 right now because right now on this MacBook I am running Mac OS Mojave right now. So after this I'm going to do a quick run through of my MacBook Pro 2011 and show you what happens when I try to do Mac OS Catalina on that old MacBook. Okay so really quickly I'm just going to turn on my screen recording so I can record this for you guys. Here we go. First thing you want to do is go to the App Store. So open up the App Store. Type in the search box, Mac OS. Just Mac OS is fine. And you're gonna see the first thing that pops up is Mac OS Catalina. Now, if you already have Mac OS Catalina installed, it's probably not gonna allow you to re-download this. I'm not sure it might. If later on there's a new Mac operating system, it's not gonna show Mac OS Catalina here, it's gonna show the newest one. So this is the newest one right now for me. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to, I'm going to click on get right here. So I'm going to download this program. Yes, download it. Now right here, it's showing me that it is 8.18 gigabytes in size. So this is the actual Mac OS installation file. So if this size is not eight gigabytes and it's smaller, it's probably downloading another file because Apple sometimes does this. It downloads a smaller file which then you click on that file and it downloads the actual Mac OS operating system. So be careful with that. I am downloading the eight gigabyte file size here and then I can use this to make a bootable drive. So you're probably wondering what should you do if it's not downloading the correct file size, if, if it's not downloading a eight gigabyte file size. Well, try going into your applications folder here. Just click on Finder and then go to Applications and look for the install Mac Catalina file or any file that says install uh, Mac OS and try to delete that file and then go back and try to get it again because you need this eight gigabyte file size. If it's not the correct size, we can't make the boot up disk. Also try holding shift and then clicking on get. Maybe that will uh, fetch a fresh installation file of this or your last resort is to probably go onto another MacBook or iMac, another Mac computer, and try to download Mac OS Catalina and get that eight gigabyte file size. Once you get that file, just put on a thumb drive and bring it back, and then we're gonna start again. But that is the most important thing. We need that eight gigabyte file size, uh, and it's gonna say install Mac OS Catalina. And I guess one last thing is you can open up your browser and do a Google search for Mac OS Catalina uh, download. And you might find a download link where you can download that eight gigabyte file size. If it's smaller than that, then that is not the correct installation file. All right, so while I'm waiting for this, it says another seven minutes. I'm gonna go to my MacBook Pro 2011 here and I'm gonna try to download Mac OS Catalina on this. There is a download link here. And the thing with these old MacBook Pros is that it will not allow you to download the newer uh, Mac OS operating system. I believe for the 2011, it stops it at Mac OS High Sierra. Right now for my MacBook here, I have Mac OS High Sierra installed. See Mac OS High Sierra version 10.13.6. And so I'm gonna try to download this Mac OS Catalina right now. I'm gonna click on download. And let's see if it allows me to. See, it has a message right here, it says, we could not complete your purchase. This version of Mac OS 10.15.2 cannot be installed on this computer. Um, there are ways around it to download, um, I believe Mac OS Mojave to install on the MacBook Pro 2011, but I'm not gonna go through that process. You can look up those hacks to do it. And also after I create my Mac OS Catalina boot up disk here and I try to plug it into my old MacBook Pro to install it, it's not gonna work, so don't try to do that. All right, so this thing has finished downloading and look, it tries to install Mac OS Catalina right away. It's gonna ask you to continue, but you're not gonna continue. You're gonna go up here to the upper left, click on the menu and say quit install Mac OS. I'm gonna exit out of there. I'm gonna close this menu here. 
and then now you can just close the App Store. Step two, go to Finder in the bottom left and then open up Applications folder. Once you're in your Applications folder right here, scroll down and you're going to see Install Mac OS Catalina. This is the actual installation file for Mac OS Catalina. Scroll to the right and you're going to see the file size here. See, it is 18.19 gigabyte file in size. So this is the correct file. Like I said, if this file size is smaller, don't move ahead on this step because you're going to need to find this file. Step three, get a USB drive. So I'm going to plug this into my MacBook right now. And we're going to see it pops up right here. My USB drive is called Transcend. Now go up to the magnification spotlight search here and search for disk utility. It's this disk utility program right here. If you don't want to use that magnification search, you can also go to Launchpad, go to Other, and then it's in here called Disk Utility. Once you open up Disk Utility, go to your USB drive. Mine is called Transcend here. Click Erase. You can name it anything you want. Watch, I'm just going to call this USB so you know. USB underscore drive so you guys know. I'm going to click Erase. It's going to erase it. It's going to rename it to USB drive. So you guys just know that this is my USB drive. I'm going to click done. Then I'm going to close this up. Step four. Is this step four? All right, let's move on ahead. Let's go to your browser. Go to Disk Maker X. Scroll down and you're going to see right here. It says now compatible with Mac OS Catalina installation app. Anytime a new Mac OS comes out, this Disk Maker X comes out with the updated app to make the boot up disk for you. So constantly check this website and get the latest one. This one says it's compatible, so I'm gonna download this program right here. I'm gonna click on it. This one is version 9.0. It's six megabytes in size. And now I'm going to open up this program by double clicking it and it's gonna install this program for me. So what it's saying here is to click on this and drag it into this folder because it's going to make the copy into applications here. It's going to install it. So I'm going to click and hold. I'm going to drag it and put it into applications. Once I've done that, I hear a sound. It says done. That means it's done. Done. All right, now that Disk Maker X is installed, I'm going to go back to my applications folder and I'm going to find that Disk Maker X because I'm going to run it right now. It's right here, Disk Maker X 9 for Mac OS Catalina. I'm going to double click on this. It's going to say open. Then it says, you know, blah, 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 wants to access control system, blah, blah, blah. Click OK. If I didn't have this install file here and there's no install file, it's going to ask me where to find the install file. You know, it's going to ask me where do I want to locate the install file to make the boot up disk. Since it sees it in my applications, it's asking, do you want to use this or I can use another copy. Here we go. I'm going to use this copy. It wants to access control finder, whatever, blah, blah. Okay. You have a 16 gigabyte USB thumb drive. It will be completely erased. You choose to use another disk. Only the chosen volume will be erased. Your other disk volume will be left untouched. So yeah, guys, I guess I didn't have to do the disk utility erase because this thing is going to erase it for me already. So I'm going to click on use this, use the thumb drive. So see right here, it found my USB drive. I'm gonna click on that to make the boot up disk on that drive. So I'm gonna choose this disk. Warning, everything is gonna be erased on this disk. All right, erase it and create the disk. Let's do it. Last question, would you rather go dark? Uh, I'm more of a light mood, so no dark side. There you go. The next step will ask for administrative privileges so continue and then I guess it's going to ask for a password which is my boot up password that I enter when I turn on this MacBook Pro there it is it's asking for a password to make changes so I'm going to put in my password it's creating the disk here it is install Mac OS Catalina this is a big file it's eight gigabytes in size so give it some time to create this boot up drive for you 75 percent come on let's go do you guys like Arizona iced tea with lemon flavor? This is my favorite flavor right now. It's so good. <sighs> this is how dorky I look like right now while filming. Hi. 
Okay, it looked like it finished here. You'll personalize your disc yourself, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Whoa, this thing growled. I've never heard of that before. Your Mac OS boot disc is ready. To use it, boot your Mac and press the option, ALT key, or select it in the startup disc preference. Now click quit and we are done. Go ahead and eject this. And guess what guys? I have my Mac OS Catalina boot drive right here, ready to use. When you're finished, I really recommend to go back into your applications here, click on install Mac OS Catalina and trash this thing. This thing is eight gigs and that's a lot of space to take up on your MacBook. So go ahead and trash it when you're done. Okay guys, one last thing. I'm gonna show you how to make a boot up drive for High Sierra, for Mac OS High Sierra. And I have High Sierra right here. This is a backup copy that I copied about a year ago when I downloaded it. And I saved this file. See, it is five gigabytes in size. So this is the actual install file. What you'll have to do is go back to diskmakerx.com here, the website, and go to downloads here. After you go to downloads, you see how it has different versions. It has a Mac OS Mojave. It has High Sierra. Download Diskmaker X for High Sierra. It's version 7 right here. I downloaded it. I installed it. So now it's going through the same installation process that it did for Mac OS Catalina. It's creating that bootable drive for Mac OS High Sierra. So just wait till that finishes. It's going to be done. You're going to have to boot up drive. And there you guys go. I showed you how to do Catalina. I showed you how to do Mac OS High Sierra. And you can do this for any new operating system on the Mac. So just go to DiscMakerX.com. It's super simple to use that program to create this boot up drive. If you guys watched my older videos on how to type up all these commands to do the boot up drive, that one still works. But you know, a lot of you guys don't like to type up commands. You just want to click, click, boom. And this is the click, click, boom program. All right, one more thing, guys. I was messing around with this and I was trying to see if I can create any kind of error on this. And here's the thing. So I deleted install Mac OS Catalina and I put that file onto my Samsung T5 drive here. I put it on my portable drive. Let me open this up. See, it's right here. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to see if I can run Disk Maker X and point it to that file that's in my portable Samsung T5 drive and have it create the boot up disk. But it didn't allow me to do that. What I did was I just took the file from my portable drive and I copied it back into my applications folder here. You see, I copied it back here, install Mac OS Catalina. And then I ran DiskMaker X9 again and it found the file and it created the boot up drive right here. It created the drive again. So if you're running into that problem, just drag the file back into your applications folder it's gonna find the file to create the boot up disk for you. That's it for this video. I hope you guys like it, thumbs it up. I will see you guys again next time. Bye.